Hi, Challenge A parents. I wanted to do a very quick video about our research and science strand for Challenge A. Um, I have a lot to say about this strand, actually, but I'm going to keep it really short. So, the first thing I want to do is show you the resources that are listed in the catalog. Um, I might get in trouble for saying this, but... I honestly believe that you can do the research strand with none of the items listed in this catalog. And um, that's pretty strong to say, but I do believe that you can do it without any of them. If you already have the cla Classical Acts and Facts cards, um, I have those here. They can be helpful, and I'll show you um, those here in just a minute. But those can be helpful. Um, the Nature Sketch Journal... I personally do not think that that is a necessary item. I think you can use regular paper or a regular notebook or just a sketch journal. Or for us, we just use computer paper. So um, that is just something that you have to decide if that's just something extra you want to spend your money on. But to me, it's not necessary at all. Also, the Lyrical um, Life Science, I own that and I like it, but I don't think it's necessary in order for your students to memorize the body systems and to learn about them. So, I think that you can do this entire strand with nothing but regular paper, regular notebooks, some colored pencils and markers and things like that, and um, really just a library or just some resources that you might already have on your bookshelf. So let me tell you a little bit about how the research strand works. Um, right here, you can see there are actually 10 weeks. So it starts at week one and it goes through week 10 before they start the science fair. So they're only doing 10 papers, okay? Now, that's not really a whole lot of papers. Let me tell you what they do. So you can see here, Let's just take fish, for example. They don't actually research and do a paper on fish in general. They pick a fish and they study it and learn about it, something that they're interested in. This is really a fun strand because your student gets to decide what they want to learn about and then study it. So I'm going to show you laurels. Um, this is our notebook, and um, I'm actually just going to show you. We actually put all of her science and research strand in the back of her LTW one because, like I said, it's only nine pages. So what I have always done is I, after my student writes their paper, I laminate their paper, and they also have to do an illustration for their paper. So I actually laminate the illustration to the back of their paper. And I have done that with all of these, as you can see. Turtles. Here she did the poison dart frog for amphibians, okay? And then they have to do a bibliography for each paper as well. So <clears throat> for this strand, um, she did, for the fish strand, she did the lionfish. And then she drew her lionfish. And then she did her bibliography for that. So, like I said, I think you can find all the resources that you need either in the library or on your bookshelf already or even on the internet. Okay, really quick, I'm going to show you her composition or her workbook, um, notebook that she used. This is what she simply did her rough drafts on. So, see, she's using the concepts that she learned um, in her two years of essentials. She learned how to make an outline, and she's doing that for every single science paper. And this is super messy because this is just her, um, this is her notebook. So it's, it's super messy, but this is just the rough draft thing. This is where she does all of her kind of, uh, brainstorming. And then she does her rough draft. It's super rough, but Hey, that's how we get to the final one that ends up looking nice here. Now, about typing it, you don't have to type it. Your students do not have to type their paper. However, I required my students and will also for Rachel next this year, I only require them to type one paper and that is this one. Um, my oldest daughter who's going into challenge two types more, but as far as I'm concerned, this young, um, unless they just love typing, 
we only type one paper because it takes her so long to do it. Um, but they have a full week to complete the paper. So um, that's how we do the science strand. And then I wanted to show you really quick. It's hard for me to do with one hand because I'm holding my phone with the other. Here is the science cards for, and there are more listed in the, in the book that you could use. But I was just going to show you. So your students already know this information from foundations. And then hopefully in class, I'm just going to be able to say, hey, what do you guys know about invertebrates? They already know things about invertebrates. And then they get to pick an invertebrate and then they get to do um, any invertebrate that they're interested in. They can do research on it and they can um, write a paper on it. It's very cool. It's like one of my favorite strands because I think it allows for them to kind of do what they want to do in a way. And um, it also allows them to be artistic. And so for us, that's just kind of for our family. It's one of our favorite things. So anyway, I hope that helps in letting you know that first semester uh, science research strand is like uh, nothing to it. It's, it's to me, it's one of the funnest maybe easiest strands. So um, I hope that eases your mind. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, I will be seeing you soon.